In this video, I'm going to explain how to properly understand the nature of chronic inflammation. It is not properly understood. And it is still, although it's really clear in the scientific literature how this works, it hasn't translated into the basic science or clinical education of most healthcare providers because it's relatively a relatively new concept within the last 20 years. So I'm going to go through, through how to look at this, whether you are a a patient or a non-patient or a, or, or a treating cl clinician, no matter if you're uh, a medical doctor, dentist, osteopath, chiropractor, physical therapist, massage therapist, or acupuncture, doesn't make any difference. All your treatments for all those different healthcare professions, all of their treatments uh, tend to be less effective as the flame goes on. I'll show you how that works in this video. So we basically start off kind of flame free. And then the first thing that hits all of us are going to be mental, emotional stressors that are impossible to avoid. But we typically don't have a problem with them when you're young because we have so much inflammation, uh, uh, an envelope of tolerance for inflammation. So above this line, when the inflammatory chemistry rises above this line, we get symptoms. So initially, mental, emotional stressors are normal, no big deal. We get a little uptick in the flame. Not relevant clinically at all. So what are these chemicals? Well, you have free radicals that are overproduced, prostaglandins that are overproduced, and cytokines that are overproduced. So what are free radicals? Well, they are oxidizing agents. If you think about an old rusty car, that's oxidation. And so an old rusty human, they're oxidized. So prostaglandins, what are they? Uh, they come from, well, the pro-inflammatory ones come from omega-6 fatty acids that we get most of our omega-6 fatty acids come from refined oils that we get in refined foods like french fries, uh, donuts, deep fried foods of all kind, packaged foods that are, that are packaged with uh, omega-6 rich oils like corn, safflower, sunflower oil, cottonseed oil, soybean oil, peanut oil, all rich in omega-6s that we do not need. Cytokines, they are pro-inflammatory proteins. So all of these get turned on by mental emotional stressors. Now, they also get turned on simply by the aging process. Irrelevant for the first 30 years for the most part, but then it starts to tick in and become more problematic as you move into middle age and then beyond middle age of over 60 into the final third of one's life. So you can see the arrow is a double-headed arrow between the same pro-inflammatory chemicals. So mental emotional stressors Inflammation, which is an actual thing, I'm not making it up, and then sedentary living, same flame. So you see the same flame from these very different causes. This is what is yet to get translated into clinical books, and it's not taught in basic science classes yet. So it's kind of not in healthcare yet, unfortunately. So what else can cause the exact same flame chemicals to be overproduced? Well, the average American gets almost 60% of their calories from refined sugar, flour, and oils. So once we are, as we age and are stressing out, we are sitting and stressing and overeating and sitting and stressing, we tend to sleep a little bit less too. So these five factors can go on for 5, 10, 15 years, and you may have no symptoms at all. And then finally, let's just say this kind of kicks in. This is your lifestyle from age 20 to 30. And then from age 30 to 40, you, you start to tick up. You hit 40, and then boom, now you're in the symptom zone. Now you have symptoms. What symptoms would you have between 30 and 40? Well, mostly aches and pains and a little bit of a, of a change in affect, meaning your emotional state, you're a little depressed, a little anxious. It's not uncommon. Uh, and the reason why is because chronic pain or pain and depression, they are both caused by an excess of these pro-inflammatory chemicals. So at some point, say 40, we'll just call it 40, or it could be younger, obviously, or older, you're living this flamey lifestyle and you have no symptoms and all of a sudden you go from no symptoms to symptoms. And now you think, well, what can I do for my pain and depression? As opposed to thinking, well, look what I did to myself the past 30 or 40 years, big time flaming. So that is the challenge to overcome for the average person. They do not realize 
that their lifestyle, which, which is pro-inflammatory for most of their life, is the reason why they've got symptoms and they're moving towards chronic diseases. They can look at their parents and they can see chronic diseases. Well, why? When they think, well, it's in the family, as opposed to I push my genes to overexpress chronic disease by living in the flame for most of my life. We can add to this, smoking adds to the exact same flame. You can be genetically disposed to produce more inflammatory chemicals and add to it. And then, of course, what happens to us after we stress out, we don't sleep, we overeat these sugars and flours and refined oils, we sit on our butts, we become obese. And obesity itself is a state wherein the fat cells pump out and the immune cells in the fat mass pump out an excess of free radicals, prostaglandins, and cytokines 24-7, which is then augmented by acute emotional stressors, by more sitting on our butts, more overeating, and then sleeping less. And of course, if you're a smoker, you add to it there. Average person is not so genetically flamed up. Uh, but most of our lifestyle choices are so flamey, we cross the threshold. But let's just say that you've done all this, and you're basically kind of pain-free and depression-free, and then you get injured. Now, your injury adds to as the same chemicals, same pro-inflammatory chemicals that all the other lifestyle factors added to it. Now, all of a sudden, you got pain that doesn't go away. Now, you're depressed, and you think, well, what's the cause of all this? And the average person, because, because these lifestyle factors here are slow, cumulative, we don't see them. We only see our muscle pain, joint pain, disc pain, tendon pain, depression, whatever it is. That's what we see. And we do not make the connection that it's these flamey lifestyle factors. And there are more of them. You can just go for sun avoidance. And that will create a vitamin D deficiency. And this is also why... So when you have all this flame going on, let's just say you go and you go to your medical doctor and they decide to start looking at vitamin D and they find out that you're D deficient and they jack you up with vitamin D supplements. Well, what, is, what are the odds that taking vitamin D are gonna, is going to take your inflammatory level down below the threshold? The odds are pretty weak. And so you'll take vitamin D and you won't have the outcome that you're looking for. You'll take CBD oil, which has become very, very popular, and you won't have the outcome that you're looking for. You can take special specially treated uh, curcumin, and you won't get the outcome you're looking for. And the reason why is because of this intense flame that is on. So we have to realize that mental emotional stressors, they're always going to be there, but, but their negative effects can be minimized if we are otherwise deflamed and healthy. Uh, if we're deflamed and healthy, we we'll have a better chance of sleeping better. If we're exercising, we reduce inflammation, we sleep better. So we want to do the things that can help us deal with stressors better and get better sleep, and that is reducing the dietary flame, getting physically active, and reducing obesity, and of course getting rid of any vitamin D deficiency. And um, well, those would be the main ones, because we cannot affect the inflammation. The average person does not have terrible genetic flame, and the average person does not smoke. So what should the average person do? Well, you've got to get your body weight right, and you've got to get your diet right, which is the entire focus of uh, Deflame Nutrition at deflame.com. My most recent book is a focus on how living a pro-inflammatory lifestyle trashes joints, really rots, joints, muscles, tendons, spinal discs, bones, nervous system, and you get chronic pain and depression, total nightmare. So what this new book does about stopping your joints, muscles, and bones from rotting is no different really than this book about how to, prevent, to, pr to promote breast health and prevent breast cancer because these foods trash our organs and joints. Now this was not extensively discussed in this book because this book is about dietary flame reduction. I've been told by many people that these new books targeted books about specific tissues has motivated people to be really good with their deflaming and getting their weight loss right. And that would be my suggestion. Get all of your inflammatory markers normal and you have a much better chance of getting yourself free of chronic pain and preventing chronic diseases that can other, other, otherwise rob uh, enjoyment and years from our lives. So the approach is very simple. Head over to deflame.com. You can click through if you just want to get one book. It'll take you right to Amazon for a one book buy. 
or if you want to get volumes, you can get volumes of uh, my books at dflame.com. And literally, um, all these books can get you down to half price if you get enough of them. So head over to dflame.com and check the books out.